Good morning, gamers. Sorry to kick the uh, camera like that. Today we are playing on the Morning Cup stream. A little bit of Road Rash on the Genesis. It's not uh, telling what the game is, but I already tested this a little earlier and made sure that it worked. So let's hope that it didn't change its mind on me. Oh yes, I know. We had a hard time figuring it out. Old-fashioned EA game. They should keep making these. They're so much fun. Oh, yes. It's only about five miles. Yeah, well, this isn't particularly short. There's no way this game is five-mile races. Am I going? Oh, boy, we're starting out. There's Punch. Is that break? Looks to be. Don't hit that button. I don't always remember what they do until you hit them. So this is uh, the original course on Genesis. The maybe the first combat motorcycle game. I'm not aware of other series that even do this, but it doesn't mean it's not funny out there. I'm sure after Road to Rash was a success, they probably had a bunch of copycats out there. This game was so impressive on the Genesis. I never could believe it. This was a, a Genesis game. But yeah, here it is. Got a little air on that jump. I would say the best one is probably Road Rash 2, but they're all good games. Road Rash 3 looked the best, but I felt like the combat wasn't as good. And again, I feel like the combat in this original one isn't quite as fully featured as the one in 2. But it is still a competent racer. And the combat is fun. And, uh, oh, there's the cops. Whew, I almost wiped out to show you. But you can wipe out and fly off your bike, and you have to run all the way back to it. It is kind of fun, even though it really sucks if you flew a really long way to try and get back to your bike. Ah, not racing particularly well here. Does it say I'm in fifth place? I'm getting up there. Third place. Second place! Come on, baby. Go, go, go. Oh, we're closing in on first. Let's see if we can give him a nice punch. Hey, there we are. Flies off the road. Now, if we can just hold on to this lead. Well, there's the flying off the motorcycle bit. Ouch! Oh, there's nothing you can do to make it go faster. You're just in trouble. All right. From fifth. Let's see what we can do to try and get back into the top three here. But it's not going to be too hard, looks like, unless the finish line's right here. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Barely missed that car. And that one. Nice punch to the face, and that guy took him out. Well, I just passed him by all natural like. Back in first. Wow, that was a lot easier than I expected. Must be a little rubber banding going on. Whoa! You can also wipe out in the grass if you turn too hard, so I, I let off the gas a little to try and stop that. Looks like it worked. The music is always good. Uh, the Genesis had a very unique sound to its music, and uh, if you like the... Yes! First place! Yeah! If you like the sound of Genesis music, then Road Rash had some good tunes. Yes! Look at that! 1700 bucks for one race. Oh, I have 1700 bucks. I won 750 Okay. You get a little code. Um, to continue with, so again, no battery save on this game. Hey, welcome, Phage Went. You get up early, I like it. Um, and then you use that hard-earned money to buy better and better motorcycles, which you will need, because these races get harder and harder. Yeah. Look at that, the next cheapest one is five grand. It looks like it's significantly... More powerful there from a 400 to a 600. So 
like a thousand CC is the highest it goes. Okay. Let's play another race here. So that's one that we. Is that the one we beat? There's one that we beat. Okay. All the wrong buttons. Player A sounds good. Why can I not just continue? There we are. So this is a, a six button controller, generic brand, but I think only three of the buttons are actually working for this game. So that's fine. Oh, I like to usually punch that guy during the wheelie. <laughs> Aha, have at thee. Oh, he hit me back. He was close to out, though. Look at that. His health is really low. Gunther. I like that it tells you their names, and you get kind of a rivalry going as you're vying for first, and a particular biker continues to compete with you, you know, you start building a grudge against them. <sighs> Gunther! I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I don't know if this one has weapons in it, but I know in Road Rash 2 they introduced the concept of some of the other bikers have weapons, and you can steal those weapons, and then use the weapons against them. And that is where the real fun was. Taking like a chain and whipping a guy in the face while you're zooming along at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Took him off the road. Nice punch. Really gets him into the grass there and then out of your life. Okay, I went from the puncher. I would have got hit by that car there. So the cops are a real thing. They can bust you and then you lose the race. Um, so don't wipe out by a cop. Um, you can also attack the cops. Knock him off his police motorcycle. Uh, I've had a hard time doing that in this one. I think I've done it in two. Oh, got a little bit of air there. So there are some really cool hills where if you have enough speed, you'll get some nice air. It's a pretty cool game. They were really able to pull off some cool effects on this. And that idea of combat during a motorcycle race, just so much fun. So This one is the most basic of the three games on Genesis. And then they made a, a Road Rash... Oh. That guy had a weapon, so I guess there is weapons in this one. Um, then they also had a Sega CD Road Rash, and that one was cool because it had things like the save file, but a whole new like art style about it. I think it was also maybe in the later games, like on PlayStation and stuff. There's a cop. Let's see if we can punch him. <laughs> a little, ooh, he almost knocked me into that road sign, and I would have been screwed there. Um... It had these cutscenes um, where if you would win or lose, they'd have like a live action scene that was filmed that would play and they were always funny, humorous in some way. How did we do? We finished. Second. All right. I'll take it. Nice and warbly there. Oh, we're getting close to... This five thousand dollars here. But do you do you save up and go for the seven thousand? I think I think it's better to skip one because you're not going to be able to afford to buy every step along the way. It's just not possible. So we'll just skip. Continue to win some races. Maybe we'll come back and try and get first there to get the most money possible. Yes, I keep hitting the wrong button. Here we go. Now they they also have cutscenes in these uh, normal Genesis ones. I think maybe in two or three they started doing cutscenes, but they weren't live action film. They were sprites. There we go. You see me knock him right off his bike. <laughs> Fat old butt hitting the ground. Suck on that. So the scenery isn't overly diverse. This one looks a little bit better because it's slightly more mountainous. But largely it's just kind of trees going by. 
I think they did improve on that a lot in some of the later ones. I, like I said, I think 3 looked the best. I think 2 had the most fun combat. So, that's why I probably think 2 is my favorite. Just weaving here like an amateur. Hey, there's some nice air, and I passed about four racers there, so that was nice. I love um, the, the pseudo 3D on these 16-bit systems. Uh, Super Nintendo, um, like Donkey Kong Country. It looked kind of 3D, but it wasn't really. Um, F-Zero and Mario Kart, you know, those were not 3D either, but pseudo 3D kind of thing. They're fun. I think they, they were really fun games, and they pulled off the effects really well for the what the systems were, and I think it's more impressive when they try something ambitious like that than just everything being simple sprites. So, I think we see the same thing with even modern consoles, where the games that are the launch titles for it, system are some of the least best looking and smallest games on the system and from there they just push the limits push the limits push the limits and uh, that's been a concept from the start and I love it Oof. some nice houses around here wouldn't mind living out in one of these roads Unless there's constant motorcycle races going down them, of course. Bam! Took you out. Third place, come on. Second place, alright, alright. Is that the guy in first? I think we're in luck. Oh, passed him by like he was standing still. <laughs> All right, after this race, we will be done for the morning, but thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you've never played Road Rash, I think you can see that you should try it. Um, sometimes it's fun, instead of going for the win, replaying some of these levels and just going for all the knockouts. The knockouts are a lot of fun. I'm actually going to take a picture of this code here so I can remember it and maybe start from here at another point. I've been doing good there. Look at all these dollars I've been pulling in. And now we do have enough money for this bike, but like I said, I think we should save up a couple grand more to get the nicer one. Ooh, almost three more. So my current bike goes 60. That's sad. This one goes 90, 100, 105. But also heavier. And there's a huge jump. So in, in the next, so right now I'm doing a series of races. Then you move on to like a harder series of races, and uh, that seems to be a threshold jump between these bikes and these bikes. And looks like these bikes too. Wow. So. All right. Well, thanks for joining me this morning. Um, thanks for starting off your day right. Better than coffee, right? Um, tune in uh, later today. We have Teammate Tuesday. I'll be playing probably Star Wars Battlefront with my friend on Xbox chat. This time the chat will come through. I tested it and worked out the kinks. Um, and then after that, that'll be, so it's 7.15 Central Time now. That will be at 5.30 Central Time tonight. And then at 7.30 Central Time tonight, I'll be doing the Nightly Nintendo stream. Maybe Splatoon. I've been having good luck with that, a lot of fun. People seem to like to join in, and if you'd like to join in, feel free. Send me a, f a friend request on Wii U to my Nintendo Network ID 5J. And um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks, and have a good morning.